The, uh, the Chagos Archipelago is, uh, for us scientists, it's a, it's a fascinating place to work. Um, effectively, it gives us a small reference point or a, or a baseline, if you want, um, against which we can, we can measure and uh, assess the, the impact of human activity. Uh, the main being fishing, extractive fishing activity. And, and so when we scientists, we, we're really interested in, in having these reference points like Chagos because we can sort of measure the impact of different types of management and we can provide um, input into governments and into stakeholders on how to better manage and how to impact, uh, preserve the wildlife around here. ZSL was involved in the initial setup and establishment of the reserve back in 2010. And now what we need to understand is whether following this, the cessation of, uh, of fishing and longlining, does the, this whole area, which is uh, roughly twice the size of uh, the United Kingdom, does it offer some kind of protection to the large migratory and oceanic species? It's widely understood that large oceanic species like tuna, billfish and oceanic sharks have suffered serial depletion throughout the world's ocean. An area the size of Chagos may be able to allow some population a small break from, uh, from this fishing pressure. And uh, we're really interested to see as a team of scientists whether the populations are recovering. The, the, the good thing about uh, expeditions like this is that it allows scientists to come together uh, and, and sort of uh, join hands for a common purpose. And, and what we're hoping to do here is, uh, is apply these different um, techniques and, and expertise to answer the question of potential recovery of open ocean species.